I Am Legend, the 2007 film that seems to eerily cross over with our current reality. Now, as we speak, studies are being done to research inactivated rabies virus as a cure for COVID in animals. The cure is called Corovax. And according to the study, and according to them, it is safe and effective. Animal testing phase. Now, we discovered so much when we exposed I Am Legend at the beginning of the pandemic, but more truth has been revealed over the last few years. And with new eyes, the Holy Spirit busted this one wide open. Can't wait to present to you guys today the brand new findings on I Am Legend. Now, there were many Trump sightings in the film that I missed the first time around that would reveal his role as Apollo in the pandemic story. There's also references to the swamp as well as a wall being built in the Shrek clip. His international hotel at Columbus Circle is prominent in the skyline. This You're going to see all this today. And his international hotel becomes the burial ground for the dead. Mass graves amongst the cornfields. In fact, coronal... Robert Neville, and I'm saying his name that way because the root word of Colonel is from Corona. Coronal Neville's dog, Sam, Sam in reverse is M-A-S, isn't it? S-A-M-M-A-S. His dog, Sam, is also buried in the cornfields at the foot of Trump International Hotel at Columbus Circle in Central Park. Now, the film, of course, is set in Christmas 2007, and today marks the 15-year anniversary of the film. Today, December 14th, 2022. Now, they are in talks. The studio is in talks to make a sequel to I Am Legend. And so this is all going to come about within the next year or two. The film will come back around full circle. And we will see probably even more connections. There have been rabid animal attacks going on right now in this 2022 Christmas season. We've all seen the stories. We've covered many of them. And yes, there are people in denial about this, but there are just as many supporting comments of people saying they've never seen anything like this, especially in California. I grew up in California. We've had fires, many, many fires, worse fires than the recent fires growing up, and never was there a problem where the wildlife were coming out and biting people and snatching children. This is a new phenomenon. It has nothing to do with habitat of the animals. That's the cover story so that you stay asleep and you're not looking and seeing the signs. Now, the exact same thing happened in the movie. It's where it all began. There were rabid people running around biting people just like rabid animals. And at this point, it appears as though hints of reality are crossing over into fiction. You're also going to hear and see several swamp mentions and so much more. Now, why are the connections to Trump so important in the decode that you're about to watch? Well, because he's the president that set all these things into motion, the father of the vaccine, almost the exact scenario that played out in the fictional I Am Legend. But in the case of I Am Legend, it was a Dr. Crippen. Now, anyone reviewing this video understand I'm speaking... Specifically about the fictional storyline, and we're looking at connections to what might be happening in our current reality. I'm not making any claims. I'm just making connections. 
that are pretty obvious and not really up for debate. Now, there's a Dr. Crippen in the film that sets everything into motion with what? A cure for cancer. And what does it do? Well, it turns people into zombies. They start exhibiting rabies-like behavior, and that's what they say in the film. Well, there is a real-life Dr. Crippen in real life. And there are many films made about this individual, Dr. Crippen. Spell, it's spelled a little bit different. But the interesting thing about Dr. Crippen and these films as real-life person was that he murdered his wife, whose name was Cora Crippen. Oh, like Cora, vac the vaccine that, uh, that they're testing on animals right now, that it's made from an inactivated rabies virus. You can't make this up. Now, here's the real Dr. Crippen. Here's, the K here's another story about him as well. Cora I'll put links to these stories. I'm not going to read through them, but this one goes into very high detail about the notorious case of Dr. Crippen from the History Press. Here's the individual here, and here's his wife, Cora. Cora Crippen. Now, Dr. Crippen was born on 9 11, 1862. And here's the story of how he killed his wife in this Wikipedia article. One of the first criminals to be captured with the aid of wireless telegraphy. Are you starting to see what's happening here? This is the framework of the matrix. Everything coming full circle. Wireless telegraphy. This is the new era we're entering into where they will be catching criminals or anyone who doesn't go by their laws and rules. They'll call a criminal with the new 5G whiz and beyond. Now, interestingly, not only was Dr. Crippen from Germany, there is a real place in Eastern Germany named Crippen. Here it is right here. And I want you to tell me what you see on the screen there. I'm going to go back into the chat to make this interactive. Because it lends credibility to the information when it's not just me presenting, but you also seeing what's right before your eyes. Now understand that this has always been about the serpent versus Jesus. It's always been about that. Let's see who gets it first of what you're looking at on your screen there. And we'll continue on with this decode. Now, I do have clips from the film that I'll be showing you today. Okay, someone rifle, umbrella, snake on a cross, diamond sauce, got it? Some could argue it's the crucifixion and mockery of Christ. It looks like him on the cross. Now, Jesus compared himself. He actually contrasted himself to the bronze serpent on the cross. Because one is false and one is the true healing, isn't it? One is false and one is true. They oppose one another. Apollo, the Hippocratic Oath, opposes Jesus. Doesn't he? They are not one and the same. They are opposites. Now let's keep going with this. Now, one of our first clues that this was all about Apollo in the film I Am Legend was this white horse joker card. 25 patients have already died. 
Dr. Neville has ordered local hospitals to stockpile antiviral drugs. So far, almost 5,000 patients treated with a retrofitted virus have begun exhibiting symptoms resembling the early onset of rabies. Have begun exhibiting symptoms resembling the early onset of rabies. So, a cure was given. People started exhibiting rabies symptoms as Will Smith, who is essentially the Apollo character. He's the Gemini Apollo. Okay. Now, he wasn't born during Gemini, but understand he is the Omega Man from which this film was based. The false Alpha Omega, Apollo. And his birthday is on the darkest day of the year, Christmas, as he opens the almanac. He opens it to the white horse, the Joker card, also known as the Trump card. Now, I'm not going to argue that point with people. You can go right now to Wikipedia, look up the footnotes, and understand that the original Joker cards were called Trump cards. It's not me stretching anything or making it up. It says right there, it's a Trump card. Now the question is, is that connected to the Donald Trump? That you have to decide. I'm presenting you evidence of foreshadowing and foreknowledge. And it's up to you to decide what that means. I'm not going to force you to think how I think. But continue to watch this evidence as it begins to pile up, so to speak. So... His bookmark is the white horse of Revelation 6-2. And shortly after this, Coronel Robert Neville says, It's my birthday. Well, his birthday is in this Christmas season. Because he is Apollyon, the destroyer. So, the cancer patients treated with the measles virus start turning into zombies and exhibiting rabies-like symptoms in the movie. ...treated with a retrofitted virus had begun exhibiting symptoms resembling the early onset of rabies. ...had begun exhibiting symptoms resembling the early onset of rabies. Now, here you see the dog, infected dogs can come out at dusk, stay in the light, call 1-800-14-SAFETY. More clues, because obviously dogs can carry rabies. And here's another clue that just blew me away. The, what do you call it, the studio that created I Am Legend... This is their, I guess you call this, it's like a little clip that they have at the beginning of the film. This is the beginning of the film. And to me, this says tears. To me, this says blue bloods because there's a blue berry. This is the first time that this particular uh, picture studio showed this logo. And it's called Weed Road. Well, weeds are tares. Weed road, and they show the blue berry because the tares are the blue bloods. Chicago with a little bit of a twist here for Los Angeles. Okay, so we're looking at New York. Like in Chicago with a club as usual. That's in the... So far... I now, Weed Road was started by this individual, Aklava Goldsman. And again, it was originated for specifically for I Am Legend the film. It was their first film. Well, when was this guy born? Aklava was born in 1977. Now, why is this important? I'm, not, I'm sorry, not 1977. He was born 7-7, July 7th. Now, why is this important? Well, because a prominent song in the film is called Three Little Birds by Bob Marley, which was written in 1977 for the Exodus album. And when you look up the name Marley, it means Marshy Meadow. In other words, a nice way of saying Swamp. A Marshy Meadow. 
Drain the Swamp was never about draining the swamp. The dark waters. Now we get confirmation during the Shrek scene that you're going to see next. In which he talks about the swamp. In the same room where Bob Marley would be played. The dark water towers. Remember Coronal Neville hits a golf ball off the USS Intrepid. Off of this Blackbird spy plane. Hits it directly toward this dark water tower. Now we've talked a lot about the dark water tower. And the fact that he's lined up with it. Suggests that he is the Apollo giver of the disease. Giver of the dark water. The infective agent. Now if you don't know about the dark water towers. You could check out the playlist. On this channel. Because we go in depth about the dark waters. These water towers showing up. Showed up in the Spider-Man vs. Venom film. His Venom was flying through the dark water towers. And so many other places. This is about the infective agent. The dark baptism. Being exposed to what's happening. So, let's keep watching here. Now, Bob Marley did not trust Western medicine. So, this is mockery. Naming him as the Swamp. In I Am Legend, it's mockery. He resisted Western medicine. And this is why they chose him as a theme in the film. Listen to what Shrek says about the swamp and a wall around the swamp. I would think of all people, you would recognize a wall when you see one. Well, yeah. But the wall's supposed to go around my swamp, not through it. it is so, there you heard it with your own ears, and as the evidence begins to mount, a cryptic picture emerges, doesn't it? Now let's get into Alice Crippen, the scientist who invented the medicine to cure cancer in the film. She describes reprogramming something, which implies genetics, doesn't it? To repurpose it as a medicine. Listen. Bob Marley. Who? Uh, the singer. Best album ever made. From Dr. Alice Crippen. So, Dr. Crippen, give it to me in a nutshell. Um, take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work for the body rather than against it. Now, animal studies are underway, according to this study. I'm not making any claims here. I'm showing a study, an animal study, in which they use rabies virus, inactivated virus, to cure, to create, come up with a COVID-19 vaccine called Corvax. Remember, Cora Crippen and her husband was caught had murdered her, and he was caught using surveillance. And this is the study here. Not making any other claims outside of this. Now, let's keep watching. Because it gets even more specific. Now, how did he kill his wife? He poisoned her. Had begun exhibiting symptoms resembling the early onset of rabies. You're talking about a virus. Indeed, yes, in this case, the measles um, virus, which has been engineered at a genetic level to be helpful rather than harmful. Your body is a highway, and you picture the virus as a very fast car um, being driven by a very bad man. Imagine the damage that that car could cause. Mm -hmm. So you heard the fast car analogy. And interestingly... Coronel Robert Neville hunts deer with a red Cobra Mustang that has racing stripes on it. Now here is an early Mustang concept car from 1963. This isn't the car he drove, but this concept car was called Corralled. Like Cora. Cora Crippen. Like Coral Snake. 
Now, why are snake coral snakes called coral snakes? Well, they're because of the coloring looks like sea coral. The beast coming up out of the sea. Now, next, I'm going to show you the actual car that Coronal Neville drives. And you will see it pull in underneath a crown. Like the snake is being crowned. Now, we had already discovered this years ago when we did this decode the first time. But I had no idea what it would mean specifically. The coronation of the snake. The, blue bla the blueberry blood. Let's keep watching here. And watch him go underneath the crown. There you see the crown above the serpent. Because it's a cobra mustang, right? Now, I believe now that the mustang Will Smith is driving under the crown is the white horse of Revelation ridden by Apollyon, carrying a bow and a crown. Now, why do I say that? Where's the bow, Casey? It's on the car. The white racing stripe becomes the bow. Because racing stripes are now being referred to as bows on a car. The toxon mentioned in Revelation 6-2. Bow Rally. Then if you replace that man with a cop, the picture changes. And so what they've done is take any very nasty virus and tried to repurpose it as a cure. And she describes, okay, let's take that really nasty virus and let's add a cop to the car. Well, what do you think she's talking about? She's not talking about a cop. She's talking about copper. The Blue Bloods. There's actually a police TV series called The Blue Bloods. And it's about cops. It's not me stretching this or making it up. So she adds the Blue Blood to the car. And that's essentially what we've done. So you have actually cured cancer? Yes, yes. How many people have you treated so far? Well, we've had 10,009 um, clinical trials in humans so far. And how many are cancer-free? 10,009. So... 10,009. That's one and a nine. Now, Coronel Neville visits a particular part of Central Park to harvest corn with his dog, Sam. He's literally corn growing. Now, I've identified this part of Central Park as the zoo part of Central Park. It's the upper left corner. And later, Sam is attacked by rabid dogs and dies. And where does will smith bury her he buries her in the same cornfield right at the foot of trump international hotel watch here's the cornfield when sam's alive they're harvesting corn and then later he's burying her he's holding a shovel here with the trump international hotel superimposed behind him and the sun coming up that's apollo at his back so now we have swamps we have walls we have Apollo and now his actual building appearing in this film long before he would ever become president or the father of the vaccine notice how the Corona Neville superimposes over the exact spot where the hotel is you could see the tips of these two buildings here these are called the, this is the Deutsche Bank Center right here and he superimposed, he superimposed directly over Trump International Hotel, as you can see right here. This is where he would be standing. And this is where he buries the dog, the rabid dog. Are you starting to understand what's happening here? I don't even have to tell you the rest of it. Hopefully you're connecting the dots here. Now... What they call this is intentional cinematography. This pair of buildings to the right of the Deutsche Bank Center, or the pair of buildings to the left of Trump International Hotel is the Deutsche Bank Center. I have a Wikipedia article of this. Let's take a look at it. Here it is right here. 
you know, I'm not stretching any of this or making it up. This is it right here, Deutsche Bank Center. It's a pair of buildings right next to the International Hotel. At the foot of it is Trump's globe. This is actually Trump's globe based off of the 1939 World's Fair globe, the Perisphere and Trilon, which then became the Unisphere. It was all about globalism all from the beginning. This Deutsche Bank pair of buildings opened on November 2nd, 2000, or construction started in 2000, finished in 2003, and a few years later, I Am Legend came out. Opened on 2004. The Gemini pair of buildings right next door to Trump International Hotel. Now, let's keep going with this. And... I wouldn't have made the connection to Trump without the swamp mentions, the wall, and the Apollo aspects. But in the film, Central Park becomes the site of mass graves. As you'll see on this refrigerator notification. So watch here. This just plays out. Actually, it's on a post on a wall. It says, mass graves to fill Central Park. This is where all the dead are buried, probably very close to where Sam was buried in the film. Now, Rescue in the Nick of Time, that's like Saint Nick. That's a Christmas reference there. Nick of Time. Nobody says that anymore. It's Saint Nick. Now, let's keep watching here because there's even more. Now, you're asking yourself, why this particular part of Central Park? Well... We discovered that this exact location is the ferrule of a giant hypodermic needle etched into the landscape in plain sight. Here are some aerial shots of it right here, pun intended, aerial shots. We start here at the back of the plunger. With these discolored buildings here forming the back of the plunger. Then we move along into Central Park following the plunger to the middle of the syringe, which of course is filled with the dark waters. We've done videos on what these dark waters are. This was a swamp. All the way up to the Central Park Zoo in the upper left corner of the syringe. This is where Sam was buried and where Colonel Neville was growing corn. Across from it, you see the Deutsche Bank buildings over here with Trump Tower, Trump International Hotel, I'm sorry, and the Globe at the feral position. Of the needle. What is the feral position of the needle? It's here. Inside here. Here's the feral. It's a small ring. A coronal ring that holds the base of the needle in place for stability. Here it is. In the aerial landscape right here would be the coronal ring it would be right in here then we follow through the tip of the needle because it emerges right here and we see the tip of the Empire State Building on your left there and if we continue to follow the tip culminates with the one world trade Freedom Tower needle. So, two tips. Now, this is absolutely a spiritual interpretation. But understand that both Trump Tower and Trump Hotel are very near the feral position of the needle. Back here. In fact, all of his black buildings, 
Trump International Hotel, Trump Tower, which is right here, as well as Trump World Tower, three black buildings all here near the feral position of the needle. And this is why he is so important as the father of the vaccine. It's actually built directly into the aerial landscape. Where is Trump World Tower? In the heart of the pharmaceutical headquarters of multiple, multiple pharmaceutical companies. Bristol Myers Squibb, Novartis, Pfizer, literally surround Trump World Tower and the United Nations building. In other words, for those of you who are still doubting, the future was built right into the landscape of Manhattan. The future of our world going back dozens of years. Unbelievable. Now, next I'm going to show you another Trump sighting. The film opens with a particular skyline, which includes the New Yorker. Look at that. Literally, the, the, the it needle literally points. One World Freedom Tower. Unbelievable. Now, let's get back into here. Film opens with this skyline here that you're looking at, which includes the New Yorker, where Tesla died. Now, why is that important? Well, Trump has ties to both the Moonies, Reunification Church, who has their headquarters in the, the Tesla Hotel. Here it is, right here. And his uncle confiscated Tesla's papers in this hotel. Now, for those of you that don't know, let's back this up a little bit. Right over here is where Tesla's papers were stored in trunks in a warehouse. Also at the feral position of the needle, very close to Hell's Kitchen. Right out here, there's a warehouse on a dock on 57th Street, and this is where Tesla's papers were stored. We did a video on that. Showing the actual warehouse where Trump's uncle collected the paper. So it's all happening right here in this very narrow strip of Manhattan. So much has happened and is happening as we speak. Now let's keep going here. Here's the skyline. There you see Tesla, the Tesla Hotel, which is the New Yorker right here. There is the uh, Empire State Building, also part of the needle. Let's keep going here. And here it is in the landscape in Google Earth, so you can see this. Now there's more to this story. The Tesla Hotel. Let's drill down a little bit further on this. Because Coronal Neville gets captured in a snare by the zombies who basically begin to increase in intelligence dramatically. They start learning and becoming more rational and very intelligent. And so they set a snare for Colonel Neville. Where do they set the snare? Are you ready for this? You might want to sit down for this one. In front of Grand Central Terminal, which is the heart of the pharmaceutical international headquarters of Novartis, Pfizer, Bristol Myers, Squibb, and Trump World Tower, just a few blocks from the United Nations. Pfizer, Novartis, Bristol-Myers Squibb, and Trump World. Now, United Nations is also very prominent in the film. We exposed that. 
But what is the message here about our world leaders and who they owe their allegiance to when they're surrounded by Big Pharma? Literally surrounded. Now we decoded this UN building because it has a nine it has nine and eleven windows. And all the streets running in this direction are aligned to 119 degrees. There's even a hundred and nineteen embedded in the aero landscape of the UN, as you can see right here. Let us count the ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I think this was the one that has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and eleven courses of windows. This top one, I think, has. 10 and many of you said that's probably because it happened in 2001 so this building that was built long before that event ever happened encodes the numbers directly within it now why did i stop counting well i just want to be specific here because this dark course is a separate color so therefore you stop counting 9 and 11 courses of windows extreme reaction now, Coronal Neville calls the virus KV, for short for Crippen virus. KV sounds a lot like KV. UV exposure. Symptoms and tissue samples confirm subject is infected with KV. It is infected with KV. Well, this will almost certainly kill it, but it's possible by drastically reducing the body temperature, I can increase the compound's effectiveness. So, just so happens the cure only works at sub-zero temperatures. I'll let you make the connections there. You think that can cure her? Um, no. Now, tomorrow, we are going to see Superman buried in a cornfield. Just like in I Am Legend. Now, why are we looking at Superman and Batman versus Superman? Well, because... Batman versus Superman appears in the film I Am Legend in this scene as an Easter egg. And this was several years before it ever came out. I Am Legend 2007. The actual film Batman vs Superman came out in 2016. The year Donald Trump will be elected president. And so, believe it or not, the actress that you just saw in I Am Legend, I think I showed a pic, yeah, that last scene showed her. She appears in the Batman vs. Superman film as the wife of a criminal who is marked with a bat Chinese star on his chest, branded into his chest. marked for death he receives the mark from batman now we know who batman is it's trump now we'll get into all that in higher detail tomorrow but this is batman trump tower versus superman the ibm building which was purchased by china Here's the mark branded in the film with this tattoo. Bat brand of justice, the mark of Batman. I'm sorry that people are upset at me for exposing this because so many people are deceived by Trump and love him and they see me as the enemy. But when the program is so great, and so few people see the entire forest from the trees, except the people on this channel. You can imagine my frustration. 
as so many people walk into traps. So, powerful show today, you guys. Took a lot of research and time. Appreciate if, if you at least thumbs up the video. Give it a chance for people to see this. It needs to be seen. If you think things are over for Trump, you're sadly mistaken. He will emerge as a force. And even if he doesn't, the damage has already been done. And very few listened. Very few listened. So. I say I'm sorry for the truth as a, to extend an olive branch to people who hate me for exposing all world leaders, not just Trump. Because Biden is continuing the same agenda, isn't he? But it's easy to see a snake in a liberal, isn't it? Because we already know what they stand for. But it's much harder to see the person standing right in front of you telling you one thing and doing something completely different. All right. Okay, you guys. Well, I guess we'll end it there. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with Batman versus Superman. Much love, you guys. Take care and be safe.